Indonesia, Sumatra's Sinabung volcano is erupting again. It's ejecting new columns of hot ash. This is on the Ring of Fire. Sinabung volcano in Indonesia's North Sumatra province unleashed a new plume of hot ash today, this morning on Sunday. The country's Antara News Agency reports citing the Volcanological Survey of Indonesia. According to the news agency, the volcano has become especially active over the past few weeks and ejected columns of ash several times. We've had big earthquakes in the area as well, in the Philippines. A few days ago, this was on the 21st of August, a very deep depth of 627 kilometers, a subduction earthquake of 6.9 that rocked all of the South China Sea, rocking Malaysia, Cambodia, Thailand, Vietnam, and China, Manila, Taiwan, Malaysia, Indonesia. And uh, after that, we had the 6.6. That was the 6.6 on the 18th. That rocked the area of uh, the Philippines and Taiwan, and we had the 6.9 on the 21st as well. So, and just today, we had a 5.1 in... Uh, Siddharaja, Indonesia. So this whole area is rocking with uh, 6.9 also on the 18th in Indonesia, Benkulu. So you can understand we had very big earthquakes this past week in that area. This is where we have the volcano erupting as well. Now Indonesia has over 120 volcanoes. Now on August 13, it unleashed a column of ash as high as 2,000 meters or 6,562 feet and earlier August 10th, as high as 5,000 meters. And uh, the 2,460 meter Cinebook was dormant for about four centuries before exploding back in 2010. It has since sporadically been active. Cinebook is among more than 120 active volcanoes in Indonesia. Another one is Merapi, uh, which is also erupting, which is prone, uh, Cinebook is prone to seismic impact as uh, the area of Indonesia. A seismic impact as uh, it's located on the Pacific Ring of Fire. This is where we have over the 90% uh, of the world's earthquakes and 75% of volcanic eruptions. Now, according to Volcano Discovery, and I'll leave a link below for you, the Sinabung volcano of Sumatra, Indonesia, eruption continues with pyroclastic flow. The current status is erupting four out of five red status. It's a stratovolcano of 8,071 feet and uh, seismic progress during the past two days has been quite intense. Near constant volcanic activity continues from the summit crater according to Volcan Volcanic Ash Advisory VAAC Center. Darwin volcanic explosion occurred at 7.41 local time this morning that also generated a small pyroclastic flow traveled over the upper slopes from which phoenix clouds were formed. Constant ash emissions reach up 13,000 feet. Lahars or mud flows could also occur if heavy rainfalls remobilize the fresh ash deposits. The warning bulletin states that ballistic impacts of volcanic bombs and pyroclastic flows could affect the area of about three kilometers distance from the main crater and five kilometers on the southeast flank and four kilometers on the northeast flank. And this is from, of course, uh, Volcano Discovery. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because 
we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.